Again, today is uh, September 12th, 2022. I'm learning quite a bit from uh, Mark Douglas. I blazed through not knowing what he was really saying, but since I've acquired some experience in trading, uh, many of the things that he's, he's lecturing about, he knows what he's talking about. And one of the things that he mentioned is trade based on probability. Essentially, trading is a statistical probability within a window of probability of prices that fluctuate within, uh, within a higher time frame to a lower time frame. Uh, as the stock price goes up to a certain point, based on certain criteria in the breaking news, the stock will move in a certain window of probability. And it is essentially a probability of the outcome of what the stock will do. For instance, today, Apple went up based on a singular news, uh, which is probably a broadly spread out uh, news based on AT&T stating that the demand for the iPhones and I, uh, the, the watches are, are, are strong, which, is, which means that on a broader market, the the anticipated decline in the demand for Apple products has been exceeded, which means that if AT&T is say, making that statement, perhaps some of the other uh, phone carriers are, uh, are uh, on, a, on a broad spectrum are likely to be on a probabilistic uh, process. That's why it's going up. And the stock essentially went up uh, approximately about 5% today. And that tells me that statistically speaking, the stock goes up within a certain bound and it, can, it could not have gone up more than that based on the news that was provided, but it did reach a statistical probability of the, the, the news impact throughout the world. And therefore, what Mark Douglas is, uh, is uh, lecturing about makes a very, very, uh, and, and essentially, what every pro day traders are supposed to do is trade based on probability, nothing else. Essentially, that's what it is. Even if the news is already known right now and the news will uh, disperse the next day, the probability is based on the magnitude of that news information and as well as the filtering of the information throughout the market conditions. and. The way that it filters through each of the faces that are out in the market depends on how long that, inf that stock price will be impacted throughout the day and how it moves. And it is a prime example of how Apple moved today. So uh, now that I'm conscious of this, and I hope to make my trading at this point based on probability and nothing else.